Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the approximately weekly show where I, Reynard Wilson, review the zany antics of Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. His name is Mark Steele, and he claims to be a weapons expert, whistleblower, and inventor. But we know that he's something else entirely. You might call him a grifter. And what is a grift? Well, it's a confidence game that aims to generate money through dishonest and deceitful tactics. And we're going to look into exactly how Mark Steele makes his money. And you can decide for yourself whether Mark Steele is an honest player, whether he's generating money through sensible and honest means, or, or is he just tricking people into handing over their money for absolutely nothing. And, and like all good con men, Mark Steele doesn't work alone. His confidence game actually starts on the streets of somewhere near where you might be living. In this case, we're going to join Mark Steele's closest associate, modern day jester, as he begins the outer tendrils of this con on the streets of Covent Garden in central London. Uh, as you can see, we're out in Covent Garden, all right? Now we've come up to the, uh, these lovely people uh, and I explained to them about the what, what I'm doing and how if these neodymium magnets are sticking to the injection site, then they're entitled to £120,000. So, darling... Every effective scam or grift begins by exploiting the victim or, or Mark's desires. In, in this case, the, the stranger who is interacting with modern day Jester, she is being promised an extravagant amount of money. So much money that it would fix anybody's financial problems. It, it would allow her to achieve financial stability, maybe even buy a house. Who could refuse a promise like £120,000? And all she's got to do is allow modern day Jester to place a magnet on her shoulder at the injection site in the deltoid muscle in her arm. And if the magnet sticks, she might be the victim. It was there, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, and there you go. So that is a netter, a nano meta antenna that they've in injected into you illegally, unlawfully, and that is medical battery. Medical battery isn't a, a normal legal expression, at least not in the United Kingdom. I suppose it could be a catch-all phrase that means a number of different things, such as performing some kind of medical procedure negligently, or, or without consent, or, or maybe touching a patient without that patient's consent. It, it's really kind of a vague term, but that's not at all what modern day jester means here. He's suggesting to that stranger that she's actually a victim of some kind of medical harm. She's been injured in some way, despite the fact that she seems to be perfectly healthy and to this moment has not even considered the possibility that, that she was unwell. Modern day jester is telling her that she has been injured and now she stands to win a staggering amount of money in compensation. Compensation for a victimhood she never even knew she had. Well, before we find out exactly how she's going to get that compensation, let's have another little modern day jester interlude where he reveals some of his sources of information. I want you all to do your own independent research. Don't take my word for it, you know? But trust me, I've done my research. I've got the top biologists in the world. I've got the top experts. I've got the data around the world from the government's official websites. I've got the data from the pharmaceutical companies. I've got the data from fucking hospitals from freedom of request information. You know? From freedom of request information. You know? Modern day Jester doesn't seem to have made up his mind as to whether we ought to take his word for it or not take his word for it. I I'm very doubtful that his search into the, the truth, his consultation with the world's top biologists and, and scientific and medical sources ha has gone much beyond this guy. I in fact, I'm certain that the only person who claims that you could get a 120 thousand pound fine for medical battery if you've received an injection into your deltoid muscle of your upper arm is Mark Steele. It's entirely a claim that Mark Steele is promoting. We, we can see him advertising that claim every time he speaks in public. Anybody who now, I spoke with two girls last night in the uh, care NHS They've had the double shots, right? They're very, very concerned now. 
They were even more concerned when I got a magnet out and stuck it to the injection site. And what I said to them was, ring the police. We're on to the next stage of Mark Steele's con. Having already hooked in the victim, thanks to his network of street level operatives like modern day Jester, it's his goal now to establish some kind of trust with his gullible victim. He wants that person to believe that Mark is some kind of expert, that Mark knows how the legal system works and that the only person who can help you get that £120,000 reward that he or she has been offered is with Mark Steele's legal help because nobody else knows how to get this money. It's brilliant because we've taken somebody who was previously unaware of their peril and we've told them that there's a new thing that they have to be afraid of. They've been offered proof in the form of this magnet test and now Mark Steele is reinforcing that entirely false notion that they have received some kind of dangerous therapy and he is positioning himself as the only person who can offer a solution to this entirely invented problem. I said, were you told that it was an experiment? They said, no, both confirmed no. I said, so you didn't know that, that's medical battery, that's a crime. This is classic confidence trickster stuff. Mark Steele is passing himself off as a lawyer, but we all know that Mark Steele does not have any legal training. The last person who he tried to advise in court, well, that was Michael, the idiot from Newcastle who found himself in trouble because he was harassing teachers at his child's school. And unfortunately, things did not go well for Michael. And I don't think things would go well for anybody who's taking Mark's legal advice. But that's not the point because all of this advice that Mark is giving is entirely self-serving. He's a dishonest crook and he is trying to make people afraid because once they're afraid, he can monetize that. I said, no. I says, well, that's medical battery. There's a crime. So I says, you've got a number of elements of a criminal act, an assault, medical battery on you from the criminals that stuck that in your arm. So what I said was... In a moment of surprising honesty, Mark Steele actually admitted what the strategy of his Save Us Now political organization is. It's all about making people afraid. Mark Steele is a fear scammer. If you make enough people afraid of a thing that they didn't previously know existed, you can monetize that fear. And that's what Save Us Now has always been about. Terrifying the population and the truth is not where you want to be if you don't have some sort of political cover. I mean, I have... Mark evidently believes that membership of a self-created political party affords him some kind of legal cover that allows him to get away with acts or words that would normally be criminal. He believes it's okay to conduct some kind of fear scam to make people afraid of something that they shouldn't be afraid of in order to extract money from them. And he believes that membership of a political party affords him some kind of legal cover or defense. Now, I'm as much of a lawyer as Mark Steele is, which is not at all, but I think Mark Steele's analysis is entirely bogus, just like pretty much everything he says. I don't think being a member of a political party saves you from any kind of legal liability. If you do something illegal, it's probably illegal whether or not you're a member of a political party. But uh, hmm, uh, that's not all Save Us Now is about. Though. It's not just about fear scamming. It, it, it's getting pretty weird now. We then realised that Sun is written in the scripture in Malachi 4. I always knew there was possibly a spiritual aspect to this. And obviously, when you start to read the scripture, you understand. So, believe it or not, Mark Steele's political party, Save Us Now, was foretold by the Bible. He, therefore, in the instigation of that political party, was fulfilling a prophecy. And therefore, Mark Steele must be some kind of agent or messenger of God, a prophet, maybe even the successor to Christ himself. It's a big burden to bear, but let's see how well Mark Steele handles that almighty of burdens. And we started to understand that this was a spiritual war and was a little bit more, let's say, uh, beyond the reach of, you know, 
people's, um, let's say, comprehension. So if you don't understand that Mark Steele is on a spiritual journey, I guess that's just beyond your comprehension. You're just not clever enough to appreciate that Mark Steele is really some kind of messenger or, or, or spirit sent by God to cleanse the world. You're, you're just some kind of idiot. Mark Steele can't possibly be wrong, which is why he is entitled to collect small amounts of money from the people who sign up to this political party. We also set the subscription to let to a pound per month. And the reason for that is because it was so that we could contractually have a financial contract with members. This is a critical stage of the scam. The victim was lured in by one of Mark Steele's street level operatives, told that she could win £120,000 in a court case because she had a magnet stuck to her arm. And now Mark Steele has built trust with her. Mark Steele presents himself as an expert. The only thing this person now has to do in order to receive the benefit of Mark Steele's wisdom is sign up to Mark Steele's political party. Be a member of Save Us Now. We've made you afraid of a thing and now we've offered you the solution to a thing. The solution is give us your money. Have a financial contract with members so that they could then be deleveraged from the Labour Liberal Democrat because anybody who'd voted, put a tick in the box, would be and had basically, unbeknownst to them, signed their death warrant. So in addition to promising an extravagant amount of money in a victory in, in some unspecified court based on an unspecified legal theory, Mark Steele is offering to save my life. <laughs> One pound doesn't seem like much money for salvation itself. It's, it's like Mark Steele becomes our own second coming of Jesus. He, he's our personal savior. And as with all salvation stories, the, the best way to convince uh, a gullible person is with some kind of testimony story. Here's Mark talking about the foolish person who wasn't a member of Save Us Now. Now, a friend of mine who did, unfortunately, he, he ended up in court over his resistance, knew all about it. What he didn't have, he didn't have the political cover, and he ended up with an absolutely ridiculous fine, and he ended up in court, and the judge found against him because she said it wasn't political, it was just a cynical event to keep his business up, which wasn't the truth. It was a Mark appears to be saying that if you are a member of his political party, then you too will have the freedom to break as many laws as you like, because membership of a political party gives you the cover to do what the hell you want. It's a crazy crackpot legal theory that seems to have no basis in any law that I'm aware of, but it's what Mark Steele is selling. And Join the resistance, get the political cover, and also grow your membership locally so that we can organize and we can take down these Satanists down the hole to hell where they came from. And that is how Save Us Now, the political party founded by Mark Steele and his brother Graham Steele, became a fear-based pyramid scheme. It's a beautiful scam. You start by making people afraid of a thing that they previously didn't even know existed. You tell them a little lie. You tell them that if the magnet sticks to your arm, then you could be the victim of medical malpractice and you could earn £120,000, a staggering amount of money to most people. And the only way they're going to earn that money is by joining a political party, paying a monthly fee. But if you do that, Mark will throw you in some added little bonuses, such as salvation from death itself, your death warrant that you may have inadvertently signed if you had voted for any other political party. Well, it is rendered null and void by your continued membership of Save Us Now. As long as you keep paying Mark money, not only will he save you from death, but he will absolve you from the consequences of breaking any laws, because 
Mark Steele believes that membership of his party means you no longer have to follow the laws. It's a beautiful little package tied with a conspiratorial bow. Oh, it's also completely ridiculous. So what are we going to do about all this? Well, the only way I know how to deal with it is by continuously exposing the fact that Mark Steele is Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. The more this video gets out, the more people are likely to search for it. And if they search for Save Us Now or Mark Steele, they will learn the ridiculous truth about who he is and the nature of his scam. Which is why I'm going to produce another video in this series. The next video I'm going to make will be exposing one of Mark Steele's most absurd, preposterous scams. And I can't wait to find out how triggered Mark Steele will be when he sees the next video. So I will look forward to seeing you all in one week's time.